right now, I mean, one of the challenges is there's no effective, consistent way for market participants to price the carbon risk. And we're well aware that the capital markets have never priced such a widespread systemic risk that's going to play out in unknown ways over the course of several decades. We're talking about a rewiring of the entire economy. And so one can absolutely take some very practical steps as an asset manager to think through broadly, how do we begin to think through climate in both our asset valuations, um, our research, our um, modeling, as well as risk management, and how do we carry all that through to, to stewardship? This transition story, it's really important to be cognizant that some of those high impact sectors, they are also going to be part of the solution going forward. From an ESG perspective, it's important to help the, re the sinners to redeem <laughs> their souls mm -hmm. and achieve a better position. And really the challenge for the industry is to allocate capital to those industries who can be salvaged. The big challenge is the, is the lack of agreed upon standards for disclosing climate risks at the individual company level or the issuer level. Um, and while we are seeing greater adoption and regulatory backing, the holy grail would be a clear and consistent global framework.